All right, test one, two, three, four, recording. We're going to share the screen today. We're going to try this. Uh, share the screen. Share the screen. So that Jack can show his video right here. We're going to go ahead and share that. And play. This is here, and I'm going to show you I've got my uh, IRLP node system uh, is, uh, a part as it can be. And I'm going to show you a little bit about each component here and what it takes to, um, as far as I know, uh, replicate this build system um, for, for another whole setup. So the first thing I have here, I got a uh, pointer here, is you got uh, 12 volts in, power supply. That 12 volts then goes to obviously your ground here, but then it also goes to these three uh, step downs. And these are vari variable voltage. This one here, actually, you'll see in the setup, goes to nothing. This, or this was originally for a Wi Fi wireless card. That's not used. This one here is used. This one is, I believe, running at um, five volts. Right there, you can see there's a little brass screw. That screw, if you move that screw in or out, back in or out, that will change the voltage and vary it. That then goes to a micro USB, as you can see here. And that will go to the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is right here. It is disassembled right now. You can see just the bare unit. And so there's uh, two things that this Raspberry Pi needs. The first thing that it needs is it needs an SD card. This is the operating system. So that just plugs in there into this right here. So it goes in. The next thing that it does is that's a little bit easy to get. Next thing is the specific pin card. This is a 40 pin system. And this uh, connects uh, to the IRLP card. And so you'll see that um, when I move over here. So that, this end plugs into this. This is the IRLP card that you have to buy and if you take a look, this plugs into here, just so, just like that. Also, <coughs> excuse me, also, you have a USB sound card. That will have to also get plugged into the Raspberry Pi. Now, just to let you know, um, it is recommended by a lot of people to have a case for the Raspberry Pi. You don't need to, but, um, there it is. So this, this unit goes inside of here. And I'll show you in just a minute. So again, USB sound card. This is what's going to be going into the, IRA, uh, to the Raspberry Pi into here. Again, there's a two USBs on this one. This is the first generation. The other thing that you need is you need Ethernet in this one. So that's where the Ethernet port goes. If you get a version Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, you're going to have Wi-Fi and you won't need this. So that is something that would be very nice to have. I would like it too. So then you also have two more connectors. You have a um, speaker in and speaker out. And that is going to go to the radio. That's the only thing. So let's go back to this system here, the case, and this one right here, this step down, I believe is kicking out four volts right now. And that four volts is going to the battery. If I were to open this battery up, um, this battery was torn apart, the battery was removed, and all it is is the two wires are soldered to the connectors. And that then goes on the radio. And it just plugs in just like a normal 
battery. Just like that. Let's see if we can push that in there. So there it goes. There's your bat, there's your um, uh, Baofeng radio. Again, it's um, variable, so it's already been using, again, this brass. Using that brass piece, we reduce the voltage on that to match the corresponding voltage that needs to go in for this. And then obviously you put your uh, antenna on. Like I, uh, you'll see in the, in the um, setup that I did have a system where you can, if you're running this too hot at five volts or five watts all the time, it might burn this up. So uh, there is a um, amplifier that I um, maybe suggested if you want it. That's it. I'm going to now stop this and um, go to uh, pause and show you a few other things about some of the links on that in the build for that. Okay, I now have it all set up again um, as it is. Um, I do have a case, the top cover for this, but again, uh, just a quick recap. The power comes in 12 volts, ground it. And then you also have uh, your, uh, this uh, variable step down is going to, like I said, nothing right now. You have this variable step down is a wire going to you can look at it here. It's going into the black Raspberry Pi now that, that is in there. Make a video. Uh, you remember that ribbon yes. that we talked about that went from the Raspberry Pi to the IRLP. You can see here it is going out and into the this here. Uh, this also powers the unit. We also have the sound card in here now and the USB. Um, I don't have Ethernet, but Ethernet, you probably can't see it, but there it is, pointing to it. You have a better printer. Right there is the um, Ethernet. Again, USB sound card. This is going into the IRLP circuit board. And then this cable here, this cable is going to the radio. So there's the transmit, and then there's the speaker, or I'm, I think that speaker that's transmit, and then to the radio. 447500 right now is what I'm using for the uh, simplex radio on this right now. Obviously the UV5R is a dual band, so you can do whatever you want. Um, and that's um, that's about it for, for the setup. Um, you can I did build this to the best of my knowledge, and there's probably a few things I got missing, but there are two different cost options that uh, maybe I can also walk you through. I think that's about it for this video. Yeah, this case in IGVM, just letting you know that uh, I'm trying a new system here. Hopefully we can uh, make it work. This case in IGVM, I'm looking for a case in ITHE out there and, uh, DX and provide. So right now I'm just looking for how to save this wonderful recording.